Hi everyone, this is David and this video is more or less an answer to a question uh, from Justin uh, on my video on how to make alpha substation subtitle files. So uh, can we see a sample of a video using advanced substation subtitles compared to subrip that is SRT files? Also, do all video players, for example, VLC apply styling to videos with ASS? Now, the answer is yes, they do. And there are differences of advanced substation alpha and SRT files. And I have uh, both files here. So if we go to the view details, this is an SRT file. This is an advanced substation alpha file or ASS file. And uh, let's just right click the SRT, open with notepad. This is what an SRT looks like. Uh, basic numbers, time codes, uh, the subtitle lines, space, numbers, and so on and so forth. As for uh, the advanced substation alpha subtitle file, if we just open it up again with notepad, you'll notice that now this has more information. This is the script info, uh, letting you know that this is an advanced substation alpha version 4 plus script. Uh, and also you'll see the version 4 styles available here. Uh, the format is on top, the style is at the bottom, so the name is a default. If you had a name for your particular style, it would be here. The font name, Arial, uh, the font size 20, the primary color, ATC, and so on and so forth. And then for the subtitle lines, they are called events, and this is what they look like. Uh, and all uh, the effects that are available, uh, for example, for this one, this is actually 1, 2, line 5. This is positioning. Uh, so this is what the positioning looks like. So that's why it's there. Now, uh, to the question, can we see a sample of a video file using an ASS uh, to a subrip? Here's the video and we can just uh, play with VLC. With the now by default, on the YouTube. since the ASS subtitle file is titled the same way as the video, it's going to play by default. You see it has a black background uh, and we can just uh, go interface. on. It's now easier than before to download YouTube transcripts. Hi, my name is David from freelancerinsights.com where we believe you should never stop learning. This video is... A now you can notice that this particular subtitle, this video is an update to my video on how to easily download YouTube. Now, if you look at this particular uh, text file, this one, this video is an update, then you'll notice that the positioning has been applied uh, to the video. And if I just right click inside the video, go to subtitle, subtitle track, track one. Now, let us add the SRT subtitle file. If I just right click, subtitle, add subtitle, this is the SRT subtitle file, just click on it, open, and then play an update to my video on how to easily download you'll notice that there's no styling uh, the subtitle is at the bottom etc YouTube subtitles. so that is how an ass subtitle file looks like and most of the times uh when uh, you're looking to work with an alpha substation subtitle file is because you potentially want to use applications like handbrake to burn in your subtitles to the video or also uh you want to use custom fonts for the subtitles etc now uh what else uh, uh also do all video players play for example apply styling so i've noticed that since i only have vlc it does apply the styling uh that you are working with so if i can just say let's let's open this particular file inside open with uh let's just open subtitle edit if we can just open subtitle edit, then go to the folder and then drop this particular file here. Uh, if we look at it, let's just double click. You'll see the formatting and the styling and all that. If I can just control A, advanced substation styles, let's say we don't want to have the outline. We don't want to have that. If we click OK, it goes away. Now, if let's just go now file open I don't want to save that if we open uh, the SRT there's no option to add the styling and all that so 
that's that's the difference uh if that is all that was concerning about this and how the differences uh, of both uh, and both applications where they can be used srt you can add to videos online etc ASS, you can use that to burn uh, the subtitle using Handbrake and other applications that support that. So, uh, Justin, I hope that this video answers your questions. Thanks for asking.